Oh my goodness. Is it Brovember in paradise? I think it is. That may be the gorgeous, most skinniest sunset I've ever seen. That sunset has a six pack and a sailboat. Roll that intro, Ron! Ooh, shade loss in paradise. Feet in the sand, feet in the sand, feet in the sand, 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 feet in the sand, feet in the sand. Logan McKay is here. Oh, oh yeah. Logan, remember our five week challenge? We did, high five. Did we do it all the way? Yeah. We did like a, <laughs> we did like a five. We did like a four week, week four and a half week challenge. So Bad, the plan, it's Saturday, and uh, the plan was to do a sunset run. And it's freaking five o'clock. I thought the sun didn't go down to like 6.30. We pulled up and the sun, at, it's gone. It's set, it's set. So what we've decided to do is just run in the sand barefoot. We're gonna go down to this pier and back, and hopefully it's not dark and we don't get mugged. Ready? <laughs> Let's stretch. Do a little stretching, and then we're gonna do some running. I didn't stretch when I did sprints the other day, and we we're doing those stairs, and I hurt my leg. So stretch, you guys, always stretch. This week's cardio week. Stretch it out, stretch it out. So, honesty hour. Ron just pulled up. He's like, how you feeling? And I'm like, dude, I'm freaking annoyed. Because all day, I was really excited to get a good run in today. Because yesterday, we ran six miles, and I woke up this morning with my stomach feeling tight and flat. It's like just that six mile run. It's like, man, I can feel a difference. So then I called day. I was like, dude, I'm excited. I'm going to go 10 miles hard. And I thought if we got down here by five, we'd have an hour and a half before the sunset. You know, I was like, I had all these expectations in my mind, having a great run, you know, right around mile eight, the sun would touch the water right as that sweet Macklemore song kicked in. And I was like, man, I'm going to feel so good. And I'll be like even tighter tomorrow. So I didn't realize what time the sun set. It was frustrating because Colette had to go to the grocery store. So I was babysitting Rocked Hard and Sun Tard. And finally she got back so I could leave. And you know, it was fine, but it was like I didn't realize the sun set so fast. So we get down here, it's like, oh, it's not working out how I thought it was going to. You know, like how you have those expectations in your mind, and then it doesn't happen like you think it does. It's so frustrating. There's a lot of beautiful going on over there. Is it? There's a lot of beautiful going on. A lot of beautiful. Look at those pink skies. It's so pretty on the water, but, man. Is it? It's easier to run down there, too. You want to go down? No. I don't want easier. I want harder. I'm staying in the thick sand the whole time. So, so that's why we're running barefoot in this thick sand to try to maximize the heartbeat while we got the sun. So I guess the point is you're going to get your schedule is going to get thrown off. Things are going to happen with your day. Appointments are gonna come up. Things are gonna fall through. Your gym partner's not gonna be able to make it. Your shoes are gonna break. Something will happen. Don't let that be an excuse. Still try to do something, some kind of workout. Don't miss it. Looking good, Logue. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Feeling good. I wish for you that perfect moment When all the world is in your grasp I wish for you a sky that's golden The things that I could never have I wish for you the faith to guide you Through all these good times and the bad I wish that I was there beside you To dry your tears or make you laugh I wish that I could be there for the ride I hope someday you'll think of me and smile I wish that I the gods to put my feelings into words I wish for you the world Malibu coastline, right there the Ron's coming up, that's the Venice Pier, and then after the Venice Pier is the Santa Monica Pier. And that is either the Atlantic or the Indian Ocean, I'm not sure which. So making the best of a late situation, feeling good, definitely getting some sweat going, filling up my legs, it'll be a good little calorie burn. And something is better than nothing, always remember that. Even if you only have 20 minutes, anything, even though if you only have five minutes to get your heart rate, like there's no time you can only just do like one set of push-ups anything is better than nothing always remember that any workout you get 
whether it's one push-up, that's better than zero push-ups. Here's the champion. Commitment. That's what I feel like today. That it's commitment because it doesn't feel good. Right. A lot of the time, most of the time, Shay hit me up and he said, oh man, I don't think I can do it. I don't want to do it. There was a little weasel in my head that said, oh, yeah, you're right. I should probably just hang out, chill out, lay down, chill out, play some video games, chill out. But I was like, no, I'm committed to this. I want to get in the best shape of my life. I want you guys to get in the best shape of your life. I want it to feel like a team, you know? And a team just doesn't lay back and let it go, like just chill out, you know? Oh, ooh, let's just sleep today. No, a team supports people when they're not feeling good, you know? And that's what we're doing, right? Let's get out. Ron's on a roll. Let's get out of <laughs> you down with all that? Dude, I don't know if I, I need to take some <laughs> Here we go. I got my flashlight on. We're running in the dark, everybody. Yeah. Woohoo! All right, we did it. Got it is her. now completely dark, and uh, we had a good run. How'd you feel, Ron? Brush it off. Oh, good. No, that was a, that was a good workout, and uh, it's crazy because. Uh, four weeks ago, that would have killed me, destroyed me. I would have been barfing on the ground right now, but I'm ready for more. Dude, we remember when we very first came down here, like our day two or day one, we did like the bear crawls and stuff over there. Yeah. Like we did a little jog and it was killing us. I almost threw up. I he did. did. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to have bro here, because it's, it's bro Vember. Logan, bro, was that Vember. just nothing to you? It was, it was different. Did you even breathe? It was like, I felt it so, like my legs are quivering, like my lungs are good and my heart's good, but my muscles and my legs are like shaking because that deep sand and running. Yeah, I tell you what, when I was training for my marathon, running in the sand is really what prepared me for that, like my calves, my ankles, my knees, all that stuff. So if you have a beach, I've said this before, if you have sand around you, take advantage of it and get out there. Yeah. It's cardio week here on Rovember. Boom shakalaka. Loving it. All right, see you guys next time. Wow!